admit to finding other women's bodies attractive, but not necessarily to be sexually attracted well, to Well, I think the thing about admitting to being sexually attracted to another woman is probably a generational thing yeah. as well. And we've seen over the last few years a lot of high-profile women uh, come out and say not just that they're gay, but they're sexually ambivalent. You yeah. know, they might go with women or they might go with men. And everybody from people like Cara Delevingne or uh, the model or this week Miley Cyrus has mm. said she's pansexual. Now, I've never had a lot of time for her. I've always thought she is a bit of a twerk, but um, <laughs> sorry about that. But I think that what she said in the interview was quite interesting. She said, sometimes uh, I just want to be by myself and I don't want to give part of myself to anyone of either sex, yeah. and that is a new freedom that perhaps her generation are experiencing, that my generation mm -hmm. uh, definitely felt, well, your life would be complete if you were with someone. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, we've got that going on, on as well, that young women don't feel any shame in being with, you know, whoever they want to be with, but mm. also they've got the freedom to be by themselves and express themselves more individually than perhaps. So do you agree with the notion then that you can, you can fall in love with a person regardless of what gender they are and what body that they're in? I think you can fall in love with anybody and I don't, you know, I think you're right, it's a generational thing. I think people are a bit scared to say that because mm. it sounds like you want a sexual relationship. It's nothing to do with that. I'm sure you've had all had women crushes. You know, women you really admire and you love and you mm. think, wow, they're fabulous. And you admire their bodies and, you, you know, I look at women's bodies and go, wow, I haven't got one, but that is <laughs> fabulous. And I think there's nothing... And I think to admit that mm. or be able to admit that and be able to talk about it is a freedom that we've got now. And I think it's really important, but it doesn't mean that you're going to have a sexual relationship with anybody. It mm. just means I you think, admire women, and we I, all love women, don't we? I think that's a problem, that often we'll feel something really intensely for someone and assume that then we have to move it on yeah. to a sexual relationship. Yes. And I know friends that have crossed over, mm -hmm. and, and then it's been, the wrong, it's been the wrong thing. And I've said, listen, are you not just feeling really passionately about this? But, I mean, mm. I would absolutely say that, in a way, I, I am in love with Kay. And sometimes she says to me, we're not lesbians, are we? I mean, we're definitely <laughs> not. Are. We're definitely not. But, but we, I, I... You love you know, her. I, yeah, no, I know. I, in a way, I'm in love with her because we connect on so yeah, many levels. Yeah. We can finish off each other's sentences. We just get each other. I, if I see a text come in from I'm really... My heart is lifted. All those mm. feelings that you would have if you were in love, you yeah. know, in a sexual... But obviously, I'm, I'm madly in love with my husband and I don't ever want to have sex with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> real honesty there. Now, yeah. Not a lot of people would sit there and say that because mm. they'd feel that people would judge them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. one of the funniest things was when I was very young, do you remember the Waltons? Mm. Do you remember the television series? I love John Boy. So I had my hair cut and I got glasses <laughs> and got clothes like him and I pretended to be John Boy. <laughs> now that's weird. <laughs> Also, that's the thing. We are so black and white about stuff, yes. aren't we? So we are all made up of, 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 of very Everything. different things. Yeah, Maybe yeah. because we're squished into thinking, oh, I have said that I'm straight and that's all that I can be. Yeah. We can't really, you know, we're not but able I to... I think... I listened to what you were saying about your relationship with Kay, and I have that relationship with all my... Gay, or mo uh, gay male friends, and actually I think I'm a gay man trapped in a woman's <laughs> body. <laughs> because, <laughs> I, because I just I don't have a very feminine uh, side to me. And it's funny because I have got a lot of gay female friends and they're always saying to me, Charlie, Janet, you know, you are, for us, a bit of an icon. And Paul, I went out with Paul O'Grady one night and a load of lesbians, like, like we were in a gay <laughs> club, and a load of lesbians <laughs> queued up for my autograph. And he went, the thing about you, Janet, is you're a dicon. <laughs> <laughs> not an icon. But, um, Have you ever been attracted to another woman? Never. It's not a gay... I hate to say it, it's not a gay uh, bone in my body. Mm. But having said that, most of my closest friends are gay men and I can just... I've just completely on their wavelength. But that's the world we live in. Yeah, and really? they can come round my house and rearrange my, rearrange my cushions any time. I had, I had a thing with me. I, when I was quite young and I was working in the theatre, I gave up... Obviously, now, I probably would understand it, I gave up the wrong signals. There was a young girl working in the theatre with me and, I, and she, we were very friendly. We used to go and have a drink after work and she used to drive me home sometimes and da 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 And then one day she said, I am absolutely in love with you. And I went, yeah. Anyway. And no, she went, no, but I, 
I'm in love with you. And she thought mm. that I was in love with her. Now, I'd obviously given off signals mm. that were the wrong signals, and I had to say to her, I'm not attracted to you. I love you. I absolutely love you. I love being with you. I love having a drink. Mm. But I'm not attracted to you. And she was so upset. But and Sherry, I couldn't that, be friends with her again. And that can happen between men and women. That, yeah. You know, that happens yeah. between in individuals. I think perhaps, uh, obviously, because, you know, it's two women, you're not necessarily got that little eye out, you know, just in case. Yeah. But, but do you think that have because... Have been attracted ever to anything? Um, I have girl crushes, yeah, Who's of course. Your girl crush then? Oh, gosh, it kind of varies. Sometimes it's Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> 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 it's never, do you know, it's never anybody real, if you know what I mean? It's yeah. not necessarily... I have a really beautiful friend friendships with lovely girlfriends that I have but no I've I've never had that sort of sort of feeling have you had a like a that kind of friendship when you you thought oh if I met them a woman I, I would really really like them yeah, you know like I know what a crush yeah. apart from yeah what Angelina Jolie